I didn't know this is gonna take forever. I don't wanna do that unless I have to. That's a pain. I'm gonna have to do a sonic wave or a ring, aren't I? That's hard. Whoa. Uh, we'll do the floating block. Even though it looks like I'm going to have to do a sonic wave or something. Ah, oh, great. Okay. First time I do a floating block, I just usually just run through it. Kind of see what's ahead. You're not getting anywhere, but hey. Slipping, slipping, slipping. Oh crap, you idiots. Come on. Get a move on. This really isn't that hard of a challenge. Jumping, jumping, jumping. I think these di disappear under your feet. It. Ride this to the end. Oh, oh yes. Come on. Go. Wave so annoying. This one's kind of easy though. The Shell City got a head one. I that's impossible. I don't know how anybody beats it. The floating block challenges are stupid. Oh, pfft. so I gotta go find another box. Oh. I know what to do. Okay. Same thing as the uh, the ring challenges. You just fly through it, really. That's the hard part right there. I just remember you pull up and kind of to the side or something. I know you pull up. You go all the way to the start of the level. Apparently, if you hit R1, the thing pops. So keep your finger off R1. There we go. You'll get it with experience. Ooh. 
flipping over. Don't hit those guys. Oh! See, this is why these are annoying. They're pretty, pretty much luck based. It helps if you go through and you knock out like those machines first. Or maybe kill yourself, kill your bubble once or twice. Get up, get up. search through this level and see if I can find some challenges. I was hoping to get this under 50 parts. So that I had to have 50 goofy gamer tokens and another mint man. This level's not a, as obnoxious as it could be. At all. I think you send him over here for something. Yeah. The computers will vanish if you get near them. Try using your sponge bowl. Well, you gotta see a chest out of it. Huh? Okay, you're making me mad. Thank you. 